Get ready with me for my birthday dinner while I explain basically why I quit TikTok for six months. So basically at the end of last year, I moved out of my parents' house. I was like ready for independence, ready to have my own space. But basically what I didn't realize is by moving out, I would be sort of living by myself and filming all of my content in just a house alone, which I'm sure to many TikTokers is like the dream. But for me, I like get so depressed when I just have to film content like in a room by myself. I just realized I didn't put primer on. Oh. Anyway, that was the first thing that happened. And then the second thing that happened was my social media agency basically decided to stop managing me. But honestly, that was pretty fair for them to do because I wasn't posting anything. So I kind of lost all motivation to post since I wasn't like working with any companies. I didn't like really have anything I had to film. And also because I'm not just like a social media influencer and I also have like a full-time job outside of that, I would like work all day and then come home and like film content until like 11 p.m. Anyway, so I was like really burnt out. I needed a break and then my family got to go to Italy. One of the best experiences of my life. I had the best time. It was amazing. And it was honestly just the break I needed to rejuvenate. And I finally started to feel like I might actually be able to do TikTok again. This is the outfit. And yes, I did get this Prada bag in Milan. Fun fact, it's the only store that you can get Prada Milano from. So yeah, now I am back into posting again. So that's great. And before anyone asks or bags me out, I absolutely adore my fans. I love them. I just need to make sure I'm looking after my own mental health as well. <laughs> All right, this is the final fit. I know you can't recognize me because I usually wear a hoodie. Anyway, I cannot wait to post more for you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.